Hello everybody, it's Christelle Martinet, and I'm back for the monthly readings for the month of February. And I have to first of all uh, welcome my new subscribers and thank my old diehards that have been following me all this time for this, with the support. Another thing, a lot of people have been writing to me since they heard of the avalanche, uh, the very heavy snowfalls in uh, central uh, Italy and um, I did I was snowed in the internet was out for a couple of hours I thought it would be worse but I come and go from the mountains and and now I'm in Rome um, as uh, you can see this is my setup in Rome <laughs> at least today <laughs> and um, what I wanted to say was how I'll be doing the readings as I did last mid-month I'll be spreading a uh, making a spread for the each month sign with the Vida Sibila. You can find a course for the how to read the Vida Sibila, what would life be without them on my website. Then I'll be clarifying with the New Orleans Voodoo Tarot and in the end I'll be casting runes, these beautiful um, onyx runes. And now Without further ado, off to the readings. Virgo, Virgo, this is Christelle Martinet, and I'm here with a reading for you for February. Let me, let's concentrate and see what is coming up for you, and if I can guide you in some way for the month of February. Virgo, the month of February. Virgo, the month of February. Oh, some of you have the beginning of a new relationship, a beginning of a new relationship. Um, let's see here. February is a lovely month for you guys. But really beautiful, beautiful times. Oh, beautiful times and my card fell on the ground. Hold on. I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay, now the focus here is on a very is on sensuality. You know, we have here Lijeritsa, right in the middle. This is the the focus card, and around that is a lot of um, communication, movement, daydreaming about these people, daydreaming about these this other person, and thinking about them. There's the sensation of of becoming young again, all of a sudden there's excitement, you know, and all of a sudden there's someone interested in me, there's someone, even if you're not interested, that's not important, what is important is that feeling of, of being rejuvenated, and um, all it takes and how it starts is a message coming in, a message coming in that changes the, your your temperament changes your mood during the day um, and during the month and the interesting part uh, is the actual communication and for many of you I'm seeing 30 40 you know 35 37 uh, percent find this person on your job working in some way their clients or they are um, you know in some way you rotate, they rotate around what the work that you do. Now, even though this does occur, I have to say, um, Virgo, you do have this um, tinge of, tinge, <laughs> tinge, isn't that a word, tinge? <laughs> tinge, there's a t touch, there's a touch of, um, of sadness because you're turning back and thinking of other really good, uh, another really good physical relation that you had with another person in the past and didn't go well. The relationship didn't go well. And, you know, it, it just makes you, meeting someone new makes you think of this other person. And, um, however, the, the, the person involved, the person, the new person you're meeting here is someone who's free. And they come on, you know, they really do come on. And the way they come on to you makes you also want to 
just be a person who will, you know, jump in with two feet. Very, very um, uh, coquette is the way I'm thinking the word, the, the French word, making you feel, you know, either, uh, my goodness, I'm, I'm a handsome man, you know, or I'm a beautiful woman. I'm feeling like a woman again. And boy, I knew I had it in me. It's been so long, you know. And, and it's, it's quite lovely to see. There is a uh, touch, though. You, you know, your mind never leaves you, um, well, obviously, uh, if it's stuck onto your head, it's inside your head. Your mind, the, the windmills of your mind, I'm, I'm meaning, don't ever leave you. And uh, you do start putting out, you know, your boundaries and saying, you know, this is too much, I don't want to be hurt. And, and you start seriously considering the, that this situation, this new person, this um, friend who, who is presented as a friend really in the beginning, um, shouldn't go forward because you'll be hurt. You know, you're thinking of the past and what was happening in the past. And um, however you do, you always think that um, I'm not, I'm, I don't want to be alone. I just don't want to be alone anymore. I'm tired of being alone, you know. And of course, not everyone is alone out there. All of you, Virgo, I'm sure this is this is a general reading, obviously. But you know, people who live together for many years as well, even just for a few years, um, may be alone. They have that feeling of being alone, you know. And and it's a reflexive uh, pattern that uh, when we there's something that doesn't go with us, there's always with another with a partner. There's a tendency to uh, not give them the blame, but they're there, so they must be involved, you know, in my sadness. And um, is, but, but what I'm getting here, the messages that I'm getting, is for those people who are, since it is a general reading, those people who are more sing single, if you're partnered feeling that sadness and that loneliness, the lovely cards here at the very end are the Denaro, the safe, the money, fortuna, fortune, so speedy, sighing, and amore. And the cards are telling you, well, look, you know, don't, don't um, look a gift horse in the mouth. Just be happy. I'm going to take the tarot cards to um, uh, shed some light. There is this uh, deliranti here, the delirious people, and also the ladro, the, the thief, that may speak to negative change, but let's see, because right after that I do see this um, alegria, so, you know, that's a little enigmatic, let's see. I have here Agwe, it's a Radha card, card number four. Dr. John, the first major arcana. This is number one. This is like, could be similar to the magician and the world egg, which is the zero card. So we have these two major arcana, and this is slightly different. They're, of course, they are slightly different than the other types of tarot, but what I'm seeing here is that you are moving you see why the thief is there next before the happiness it talks of a risk and it talks about running a risk that you are willing to take you're willing to run this risk but if you notice this is first the magician let's say dr john and the egg is next and the risk is acting before knowing what can possibly emerge. It's quite um, telling that. I'm going to take three cards on the Deliranti here. We have Hunsis, uh, Congo Hunsis, Santeria, the two card Olofi, and the Congo card Simbidolo, eight Simbidolo. Now, what I'm seeing here is the, and it's interesting to see the egg there and the Santeria to Cardalofi, who's bearing child. Um, 
the it's the the the, the anxiety that you feel when you're in the thick of this relationship, when you're actually going to meet them, you know, you're going to dinner and go, well, what am I doing? You know, what am I doing? Can I, do I really want to do this? Oh, I, what, what is it good? You know, why should I? And this is all, you know, you're going through, you, this is all going through your mind, but there's a fair amount, Virgo, of you thinking and imagining and wanting, desiring, if it, if only it could be, if only it were, you know, and um, and there's a stop and go energy that you have in February because of the insecurity, because of fear of being hurt again, and um, not knowing if you should go and jump into the lion den, you know. I'm going to take a, make cast these runes to crown the reading now. Hmm, where it stops, nobody knows. Round and round she goes. Oh. They're all, all systems go, they're saying, oh. okay, we start with the rune that talks of Hagal, and Hagal again says, uh, um, watch before you leap, all right, before you take, but, um, because there's something that you're not seeing, Kinat's Merck's Dave. However, if you consider all of your bases, if you think of it, there's Rido Merck's Dave, Bright's Dave. Just go into it fully aware that you have to live the day. It is in the now that your mind has to remain. Um, there is this rune called need uh, and oh, right over the domestic or the house domestic and um, there is a sensation that if you do take this step and you jump in without you know you jump out you're go going over that tightrope with, without a net underneath that there's a possibility a very strong possibility that you may not fall but then there is the possibility that you may fall and this is something that you, you may not, you just aren't ready to, 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 uh, to do. But over the person that's coming in, I have the, the yew tree, algids, and you are quite protected in, with that person. <coughs> Excuse me. That is a person that is not going to hurt you. It's you that needs to communicate with them and just tell them how you feel. Lagos, mm, Brightstave, over the Viaggio and over the card of uh, Legeritza, the trip and Legeritza, telling you it will be smooth sailing whatever you want to do, whether you just want to go for a cup of coffee, if you want to go to bed with them, if you want to have a sex, if they're friends, with benefits, you know, it will all be smooth sailing. What do I have here over this so speedy? <laughs> a flying rune I have. I have um, Sohilo, the sun. Um, this is right over so speedy. It's about time. It's about time. It's about time, Virgo. Namaste. That's what it's saying. Finally, love is coming your way. Namaste, Virgo. I hope this was of help to you. Until we read together again, bye-bye.